the convention as a whole, I, I think that um, there, there were some uh, challenging members out there who spoke very uh, forcefully and passionately. Gary Walkowitz brought up that uh, he's got thousands of signatures of people who want no concessions whatsoever. Uh, a lot of members do feel that we've given enough, if not too much, and that concessions won't save jobs. Paul Baxter made an excellent point when he said that uh, too often uh, the companies come back and say, we'll invest in this plan. But the condition for the investment is you have to give up 300 jobs. So that is no deal. We cannot make that type of concession and trade for investment. And if we're going to make some any kind of concession, it has to mean we're getting something. That, and that uh, whatever sacrifices should be made should be made equal. Uh, the one brother said very politely, very politely, my membership hates two tier. We support you, but I can't come back to the membership and say we're going to get two tier. It's not going to apply. That was the other disturbing element about this convention. Uh, the resolutions book did not address two-tier whatsoever. There was not a hard statement against it, which indicates to people that it's on the table and, and we may be headed in that direction. Well, but Mike was saying that you know, it sort of lays out an excuse for the world. Actually, there was language saying we understand that there are situations in which we have to be competitive, and yeah, it did actually insert language saying we're open to that, that it is on the table. Uh, what we fear and what most members understand is that it, it's a recipe for destruction for the union and that in the long term it will destroy us. I'm afraid they're willing to make that trade-off at this time. There wasn't any talk about a strike other than in, in, in uh, Gettlefinger's initial address about Delphi. He did Delphi say striking Delphi. Delphi. Yes. Yeah. Well, the papers are always looking for that. Right. <laughs> that was vital. Right. Well, what would you say the headline was uh, of the poker over two days? Over two days? Uh, the, uh, the subtext. Yeah. The <laughs> I, I, I think I would have highlighted uh, you know, some of the, the challenges that were made. That, so, that there were people who were adamantly resisting concessions whatsoever. And why I say that, of course, is that I listen differently than than an outsider or a newspaper man, because or a first-time delegate. But you know, I have an experience on the shop floor, and so I'm hearing people's everyday conversation, and they're feeling more and more intense pressure from management. They're getting pushed harder, and they're angry, and and they're telling them. You know, we've had enough. Uh, people don't want concessions. They don't believe in concessions. Uh, they don't believe it's going to help. But like I say, at the convention, that is because it's it's in public and, and people want to be civil. It's said in a more polite way, and I believe that that's why so many people said a rise in opposition because the language is not strong enough. I think that would have been my headline. The language is not strong enough. Meaning that the, the language in the resolution is too goddamn weak. And we're looking for a lot tougher stance than this. And we feel a lot tougher than this. And this is, we do not look to our leadership to be soft. We do not look to our leadership to have to say, and maybe this and maybe that and you know we got to be competitive and we want to cooperate you know, we need a, a leadership that's sounding very tough yes both sides gay management now has no strikes to stop production the workers have more enthusiasm for their jobs hourly production is up 15 percent the company gets more productivity it gets a fair day's work. The workers have more security. They feel they belong, that they are part of a team. They have a fair chance to advance. They get honest consideration of their problems and grievances. 
they found it pays to do better work, to suggest improvements. They get more money for more production. They get a fair day's pay.